Welcome to Asi for a Trend. Tesla enjoying a healthy run over the last couple days as the markets brace for a second term from Donald Trump. Earlier, we spoke to Kathy Wood about what else is on the horizon for Tesla. It's a completely different model. And uh, what's been interesting is Waymo, uh, Alphabet's Waymo, has, uh, it, it has proof of concept. Autonomous is not about tomorrow, it's here. And uh, we're very excited to see how Tesla is going to go to market. Joining us now is Wedbush Securities Managing Director and Senior Analyst, uh, Dan Ives. Dan, always good to see you, have you on the show. Uh, let, let's start there, uh, Dan, um, with Tesla. You know, Kathy Wood, she is a believer. Uh, she invests in Elon Musk <clears throat> companies. You look at the move Tesla has made, Dan, 30% over the past month. What is driving that, in your opinion? Tesla delayed its planned robo-taxi unveiling by two months to October to allow teams more time to build additional prototypes, Bloomberg News reported on Thursday. The news sent the stock down 8.4%, the steepest one-day drop since January. Wood is unfazed. It's, it's a new error with Trump, because ultimately, if you look now, autonomous is going to get fast-tracked, in our opinion, and that is significant because of Tesla and the AI future. I believe that's worth a trillion dollars alone in terms of that AI piece to Tesla. And that's why for Musk, the bet on Trump, it's a poker move for the ages. It was a big bet. And it, it, it listen, it was the right bet for Musk. Near, let's, I get the autonomy piece, but next year, Dan, would it be your bullishness, bullishness based on you see accelerating delivery growth? Kathy Wood and her ARK investment management firm have sold Tesla TLS a stock in six consecutive trading sessions during the run up to Tuesday's presidential election between former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris. Well, I think uh, three things. One, the first thing Trump's going to do is he's going to basically take away EV you know, tax credit. So that's that that's negative for the industry, for the Detroit three, of course, GM Ford, bullish for Tesla, because it gives that they have a price and a scale and a scope advantage significant. Okay, two, I believe the autonomous AI vision, CyberCab, this could get accelerated by years. By the end of the next year, we could be talking CyberCab, you know, as we actually start to see. And I think this is accelerates that strategy. And I think the third thing is a lot of the broader regulatory issues that have been overhang on Tesla. I think that essentially now goes away. I mean, they'll still be there, but Musk is going to be a whisper in the White House, and that is something the market's factoring in, a Trump win. A red Overall, ARK's trading activity reflects an ongoing strategy to invest in companies with transformative potential while remaining responsive to market dynamics. Investors closely watch these trades for insights into Kathy Wood's outlook on the evolving landscape of innovative industries. I share stock market's latest news, datas and important information on my Telegram channel. If you want to stay updated with these things before everyone else, open the description of this video, click on my Telegram channel's link, and simply join my Telegram channel. Let me ask you, Dan, I'll ask you the same question we had for Kathy Wood, which is uh, may, perhaps must roll in this new Trump administration, um, you know, with you know maybe a government efficiency group, Dan, and, and Kathy Wood sounded very bullish on that. She liked the idea of Musk playing an active role there. As a financial analyst, though, Dan, do you like that idea, or would you be concerned that would be distracting for Musk, you know, a guy who already has a lot on his plate? Yeah, I think, look, Josh, is there a distraction? Of course, but I think there's a comfort for tech investors, I think just in terms of the overall industry on Wall Street, that you have someone like Musk being a sort of whisper for Trump around China tariffs, around AI, and there's going to be significant AI investments within the US. Ever since the days of the dollar TSLAQ hashtag on Twitter, Tesla has had its share of diehard bulls and haters. While the stock has made early investors who held on rich, it remains a controversial pick today for a number of reasons, including CEO Elon Musk's antics, what some observers say are its over-promises about its autonomous vehicle technology, and its lofty valuation. Among Tesla's biggest backers is Kathy Wood, the head of ARK Invest, a growth-oriented exchange-traded fund ETF manager that has held Tesla as one of its largest positions for years. 
Wood is a big believer in the company's autonomous vehicle strategy and predicts that its robotaxi business will provide the large majority of Tesla's earnings and value by 2030. She forecasts that its market cap will reach $7 trillion or more by 2029. And that's bullish just for overall tech. And I think that's playing an important role here. So that's why NVIDIA is up despite some of the worries about tariffs and everything else. And I think there will be carve outs for tariffs when it comes to Tesla, when it comes to Apple. This is a Goldilocks scenario for any tech investor going into the weekend. Overall, ARK's trading activity reflects an ongoing strategy to invest in companies with transformative potential while remaining responsive to market dynamics. Investors closely watch these trades for insights into Kathy Wood's outlook on the evolving landscape of innovative industries. ARK investment management projects that Tesla's driverless ride hailing service could tap into an $11 trillion revenue market, leveraging low operating costs to undercut current ride hail prices. Tesla aims to launch this service next year in Texas and California, initially with drivers, and targets fully autonomous rides pending regulatory approval. Even so, the Wood-led firm has been on a Tesla share selling spree lately. The Palantir Trade Arc Invest sold a total of 372,730 shares of Palantir Technologies across its ARKK, ARKKQ, ARKW, ARKW, and ARKX ETFs. Despite Palantir's recent 52-week high and a strategic partnership with L3 Harris Technologies Inc. LHX, Arc decided to reduce its stake. The value of this trade based on Palantir's closing price of $43.69 on Wednesday, is approximately $16.3 million. This move followed ARC's recent decision to buy a substantial amount of Archer Aviation Inc. CHR shares on both Tuesday and Wednesday while selling shares of the Elon Musk-led company. Similarly, on the company's earnings call in October, Musk said that autonomy would make it the most valuable company in the world, probably by a long shot. However, not everyone who knows Tesla well seems to agree. In fact, in the third quarter, three Tesla insiders set up 10B51 plans, under which they sell predetermined amounts of stock at preset intervals. These plans, which set out guidelines in advance, but put the precise timing and sales decisions in the hands of the shareholder's broker, are designed to eliminate any appearance that when an insider sells, they are doing so based on material non-public information. Robotaxi to open door for $10 million revenue opportunity for Elon Musk's Tesla, says ARK Investments Kathy Wood Autonomous Taxi Platforms are the biggest AI project evolving today. ARK has primarily based its Tesla valuation on its autonomous driving potential. If we are right, the stock has miles to go as per Wood. Tesla Inc. Dot's move into the more profitable autonomous taxi platform business will be a catalyst for a roughly tenfold increase in its share price, according to ARK Investment Management LLC's Kathy Wood. Describing the autonomous taxi ecosystem as an $8 trillion to $10 trillion global revenue opportunity Wood sees platform providers such as Tesla taking as much as half of that. Investors are shifting away from valuing Tesla purely as an electric vehicle maker, pricing in some of the autonomous taxi potential she told Bloomberg Television's David Ingalls and Bloomberg Intelligence's Rebecca Sin in the Tiger Money podcast. Autonomous taxi platforms are the biggest AI project evolving today, she said, adding ARC has primarily based its Tesla valuation on its autonomous driving potential. If we are right, the stock has miles to go. Wood's comments came after Tesla's share prices slumped nearly 43% this year through April 22nd, as electric vehicle sales slowed globally. A rebound in the last two months has erased most of the losses, though it still underperformed former Magnificent 7 technology peers by wide margins. Wood has been bullish on Tesla for a long time, making it a top holding in her ARK Innovation ETF. The fund has lost nearly 9% this year, while assets slumped about a third, partly due to redemptions. That compares with an 18% gain in the SP500 index. Wood is known for making outsized predictions, including her call that Bitcoin would reach as much as $1.48 million by 2030. Autonomous taxi networks will be a winner-takes-most opportunity, where the provider that can get passengers from point A to point B in the safest and quickest fashion will clinch the lion's share of business, Wood said. The network provider will be able to take a 30% to 50% share of revenue generated by fleet owners on its platform, giving it a recurring revenue with explosive cash flows, as well as a profit margin north of 50%, she added. That departs from the build and sell, or one and done business model of making vehicles. 
That is what we think people are missing the size of the opportunity, how quickly it's going to scale, and how profitable it's going to be, she said, adding she expects Tesla to lead the US market. Tesla's weighting in the $6.5 billion ARK Innovation ETF fund surpassed 15% last week. ARK doesn't usually add to a position once its weight in the portfolio hits 10%, Wood said. While a holding may drift higher from share appreciation, the firm would usually start selling well before it hits Tesla's levels. The asset manager has taken some profits on Tesla but has permitted it to surge beyond the normal ceiling, believing Elon Musk's company is on the cusp of sharing a lot more information on its robotaxi project, she said. Tesla delayed its planned robotaxi unveiling by two months to October to allow teams more time to build additional prototypes, Bloomberg News reported on Thursday. The news sent the stock down 8.4%, the steepest one-day drop since January. Wood is unfazed. We're probably getting closer to this robotaxi opportunity, not further away, she said. Musk wants to show us something more awe-inspiring than we might have seen on Org. 8. And he believes it's possible by October. Musk hopes to get them on the road in Texas and California in 2025 and ramp up the annual production rate of the autonomous two-seater vehicles into the millions as early as 2026. However, there are regulatory hurdles standing in the way of the company taking its robotaxi mainstream. The National Highway Transportation Safety Administration, NHTSA, currently tightly restricts the deployment of autonomous vehicles without traditional controls like steering wheels to just 2,500 per year. In other words, Tesla would need to convince the NHTSA that its AV technology is safe and get the regulatory regime for such vehicles loosened if it's going to realise Musk's vision. It might seem this could be easier if former President Donald Trump wins next week, as Musk has gone all in for the Trump campaign worries about potential political risks to Tesla if Vice President Kamala Harris wins offer another possible reason why those insiders are selling beyond the stock's currently high valuation its price to earnings ratio is above 100. Tesla may eventually roll out a national network of robo-taxis and become a multi-trillion dollar company, as Musk imagines, but given the stock's surge on its third quarter earnings report, its generally sluggish growth in recent quarters, and the risk to the stock in a Harris victory. Taking some profits now, especially for long-time investors, doesn't seem like a bad idea. Kathy Wood and her ARK investment management firm have sold Tesla TLS a stock in six consecutive trading sessions during the run up to Tuesday's presidential election between former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris. Meanwhile, Tesla chief executive Elon Musk has been campaigning for the Republican candidate amid discussions he could be involved in a Trump White House. Wood has sold Tesla stock every trading day since OT. 28 when ARK Invest unloaded more than 120,000 shares, according to the company's daily trade disclosure. Over this stretch, Wood has sold 245,153 shares, including selling 9,984 TSLA shares on Monday for $2.42 million, based on the closing price of 242.84. Afshar, who has long worked for Musk, has been viewed internally at Tesla as a Musk proxy. Trump in September told the New York Economic Club that, if elected, he would establish a government efficiency commission to be headed by Musk, Reuters reported. However, Cantor Fitzgerald Chief Executive Howard Lutnick, Trump's transition team co-chair, last week walked back Musk's potential role by a few steps. Lutnick told CNN that Musk would be adjacent to the White House. I think adjacent to it and writing software for the government, and then giving the software to the government, and helping the government, Fitzgerald said. Few analysts have broached what a Musk cabinet position would mean for Tesla, as it would bring into question the chief executive's role at the company and complicate his private investments. Musk getting a cabinet seat in a Trump win would be a complicated decision that would take time away from Tesla and is not what shareholders want to see Wedbush Securities analyst Dan Ives, a long-time Tesla bull told IBD Tuesday.